I'm in Jerusalem today just running a few errands in Talpio. This is uh, Hamusa Kim. That's not, that's not why I'm making this video. This is the color of the sky from the forest fire. Pretty incredible here. You can just see this huge billowing cloud in front of me and this is looking roughly, let's say, uh, well, that's south, so this is probably west, but totally unnatural color. You can see the, the kind of U of the burning wood inside of it. And just to compare it with the rest of the sky, this is what a natural sky looks like. You can see that big plume of smoke there billowing up into the sky and collecting and blowing. That's the sun, it's kind of just like this reddish rue obscured by that smoke. And just if I move the camera around here, you can see compared to the rest of the sky, this is what a normal natural sky looks like in August in Jerusalem, blue sky as is the case most days here. And just going back, that is the result of the fires and that's the kind of sun, this red haze. Uh, very sad uh, to see this here. And uh, this is the uh, smoke pillowing from those fires. So truly apocalyptic scenes and good to have these KN95s for more than just the pandemic. These are the... Um, Here in Talpio, South Jerusalem, this is one of the popular malls. And you can just see again another picture of that crazy, crazy red sky. This is actually uh, looking sort of south, 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 east, I would say. That's probably because it's spreading. Uh, and you can see there's just kind of pockets of this really, really deep uh, smoke over the city here. And you can see where it's kind of clustering and localized and uh, pretty intense scenes, one of the worst fires in recent years here. Probably a little hard to hear me, I'm wearing a KN95. Uh, cause still officially undetermined, but I believe, but I believe that eco-terrorism is going to be the, the cause. Uh, just way too many of these happening in way too short a period of time. And that's what the uh, emergency services believe as well. get over the site it's just so crazy I am close to uh, Hadar Mall known in Hebrew as uh, Kenyon Hadar in uh, Talpio in South Jerusalem area best known for its kind of industrial things and uh, you can just see there in front of me that red sky the Sun is just it's crazy and that red uh, U in the sky is a result of the forest fires burning um, around Jerusalem in the Jerusalem Hills 
Um, I'm facing westward here, so that's where you're looking out to. This is south, southward towards Bethlehem. Um, and if I just uh, rotate, look at the look at the difference. That's crazy. That is a regular sky. And looking, um, let me just get my directions here. That's looking northward now towards Jerusalem city center. And this is the um, billowing smoke from the fire. It's quite thick and it's just visible wherever you go uh, today in South Jerusalem, you can just see, I'm just trying to make sure the camera gets in focus, um, really, really thick smoke and this distinctive smell that unfortunately for those living in Jerusalem, um, it's become sort of a familiar smell. It's probably the third time in the last few months uh, that this something like this has happened and it's become a now familiar smell. I was working from home yesterday and I uh, went into the kitchen and smelled burning wood and I thought either my house is going up in smoke which didn't make sense because we don't have any wood in the house or there's a fire again and I kind of knew the answer before I got onto Google News. Uh, so there's a bunch of fire crews, emergency services from around Israel. Um, I think Greece was talking about sending planes. I haven't been home for a couple of hours now. Uh, but this is now facing eastward and you can just see again how intense that smoke is. So i um, very happy that I have a KN95 here. I have asthma, uh, so that's always kind of a concern with this. But uh, yeah, just a really, really shocking, shocking sight uh, that can be seen from all over Jerusalem today, but particularly in the south and facing west. Um, is where it's just kind of like at its most dramatic. So really, really crazy. The cause, as I mentioned in my last video, is officially undetermined, I believe, the last time I checked, but uh, seems like very likely to me that the cause of this is going to be determined to be uh, eco-terrorism uh, by those intent on causing havoc. Already a bunch of houses burned down in those villages. Um, firefighters working around the clock to try save as many of those towns as they possibly could. Um, and hopefully uh, it'll just, um, it'll, it'll get, it'll, I'm trying not to look at the sun, but it's just the most distinctive and strange color of orange. If you didn't know what was going on, you think it was like a kind of planet or something. It's just really, really breathtaking. Um, and this is, as I said, above Kenya and Hadar in Jerusalem. Sorry for the bad camera work and the bad footage. It's uh, shot on my phone. So the, I can see the focus is uh, struggling here. Uh, that is the situation today here in Jerusalem.